What's up, Amazon sellers? We all know that time is our most important asset, and that is why today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to analyze an Amazon arbitrage deal in 20 seconds using Bybot Pro. Stay tuned. Right, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson, and I've been an Amazon arbitrage seller now for about four years selling on the UK marketplace. Right now, I'm on a mission to do one million pounds by the end of 2021. And if you wanna see my journey, where I document everything every quarter and even share my profits, have a look up there. I will share all about that. But enough about me, let's jump into the content today. Okay, first things first, number one, I'm gonna talk about why it's important to speed up your deal analysis process. Number two, I'm gonna share with you my step-by-step -step analysis process for using Bybot Pro. Number three, I'm gonna jump on a live screen share and I'm gonna do the 20 second analysis for Bybot Pro to show you that live. And then finally, number four, I'm gonna share some top tips with you just to help you out in your business. Let's get started now. Okay, number one, why is it important to speed up your deal analysis process? Well, quite simply, as I said before, time is money. If you can speed up your number of deals you're analyzing per hour, you are going to analyze more deals, you're probably going to find more deals, and you're going to be able to buy more deals. If you can buy more deals, you're going to make more sales, and you'll make more profits. So the amount of money you're going to make per hour worked is going to increase. And that's all down to speeding up your processes. Now, the other thing to think about is online arbitrage is online. And what does that mean? It means that while you can see the deals, everyone else can see the deals as well. If you can analyze the deals quicker than everyone else, that means you are more likely to find the profitable deals and you're more likely to buy them before they sell out and you're gonna grow your business. The final thing which I'll add to that is also as well, within your business, it creates a culture of speed, a culture of driving efficiencies, getting more efficient about what you're doing. So improving your analysis process is just one part of improving your whole business and your actual processes within that business to drive speed, which drives more deals, drives more revenue, and obviously more profits. Okay, so question for you guys today, I'm gonna go through how to analyze a deal in 20 seconds live on this video, but I wanna ask a question to you, how long do you think it takes you to analyze a deal? Drop it in the comments down below. Let me know, is it quicker than 20 seconds? Is it longer? Let me know what you think an average deal takes for you to do analysis of. Drop it in the comments down below. Okay, what I will also do say is stay to the end because as I said, I'm gonna do that live screen share of three examples of me doing the 20 second analysis. And hopefully you can learn a thing or two from it. It's gonna speed up your processes as well. Okay, so that leads me nicely onto number two, step-by-step -step deal analysis process. Obviously to speed up my process, to make me as efficient as possible, I have to have a workflow, a set way that I analyze my deals. And before I jump into doing it in 20 seconds, I wanna slow it right down for you and show you how I do that process. So what I'll do now is I'll jump onto the computer and we'll go through that deal analysis process slowly so you can see it. And then obviously the next chapter, we'll speed it up again and show you in real time. Now, the one thing which I will say is you've probably watched a lot of my videos is that I use a lot of software tools in my service. And most of the time, what I will say is I probably use other software tools to do my deal analysis. This concept is exactly the same. And what I'm doing now with Bybot Pro is taken from my own personal experience, but also as well, from my VAs in my business. We've got quite a lot of them and how they use it as well. So this is an optimal way to analyze deals that we have learned from a number of our own staff put together in this video to help you. Okay, so I've just jumped onto this product here and we're gonna go through and use this product to do the deal analysis. Now, first things first, what have I done? Well, I've put in my buy price already and it's auto detected the sell price and I've clicked the analyze button. So obviously it does the analysis. So the results have come back in now. Okay, so let's go through that deal analysis process, what am I doing? So once I've clicked the analyze button, what am I gonna do straight away? Well, what I'm gonna do is come down to here and look at these three boxes. I'm gonna look at eligibility to sell, hazmat and dangerous goods. I need to see green on all three of them. So that's a really quick visual check. The only one that I might investigate if it isn't green is eligibility to sell. And if it is red, then I'll try and ungate and Bybot Pro allows you to try that automatically. But if any of the other ones, we say hazmat is red, I'm just not interested, I'm gonna move on. So first things first, jump down to hazmat, eligibility cell and dangerous goods checker, all green, I'm good, move on to the next part. 
Now, the next section I will look at is moving over to the island. So over to this island here in the middle, I'm gonna have a quick look over to the IP radar. Now, the reason is if this brand is a dangerous brand, I'm gonna be a bit wary. I might need to do more analysis, but most of the time I'm gonna be looking for green, if not amber. If I see red, I'm moving on, I'm not interested. Now, the next two things that I'm gonna look at are quite simply looking at the top, profit, and you can see right now my profit is £3.28 and my ROI, which is now 109% ROI. What am I looking for? Well, generally speaking in my business, I will go down to £2 profit, but majority of the time I'm aiming for £3 profit and about 30% ROI. So you can see for this product, I'm already making more than £3 profit and more than 30% ROI, so I'm happy with that. The next thing I will do is I'll have a quick glimpse, and I mean very, very quick glimpse at the estimated sales. You can see this is 13, but I'm just gonna make a mental note of that before I move down to the charts. So let's scroll down now and have a look at the charts to understand about what's going on with this product in the past. So I'm gonna scroll down, and right here you can see the interactive charts for this product. Now, what am I looking at on these charts? What I'll do is I'll get you a really quick analysis of what I'm going through so you can understand it better. Okay, so I'm now down at the charts and what I will say is I'll give you a quick analysis of what I'm looking at, but I'm gonna go through what's in this keeper analysis here. And if you are not sure about how to read these charts, understand how to interpret them, have a look at my three part keeper training up here. I'll put the basics in first. I'd go through all three of them and then come back because this is gonna really help you do deal analysis. Using these charts helps you understand what's happened in the past. And if you know what's happened in the past, you can pretty much guess what's probably gonna happen in the future. So let's look at them now. First things first, what I'm looking at for is Amazon on the listing. So I'm looking for an orange shaded area. And what I can see right now, there is no orange shaded area on this. The reason why I'm looking at that is because Amazon might not be on the listing today, but they may have been on the listing quite heavily over the past 90 days. So I'm just gonna have a look for any orange lines on the shaded area for Amazon on the listing. And I can see on this listing, there is no Amazon on the listing. Generally, I try to avoid competing against Amazon, but I sometimes I will. So Amazon listing, no, I'm happy, I like that. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna be looking at is that green line. And you can see this green line is really going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. That's movement in the sales rank. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna take my head and I'm gonna draw a line between it, of just a line of best fit. And I'm gonna also see roughly how many up and down there are. Now, this isn't exact science, it's a rough guess. I now remember that previously it said about 13 sales per month. And if I'm gonna do what's known as count the drop method, which isn't perfect, you've got to take it with a bit of experience. For this, I'm gonna say, do I believe that 13 sales per month by counting the drops in a monthly period? So if you have a look here, 11th of April, back through to say the 11th of March, roughly around here, how many drops am I seeing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, maybe 14, generally about 13, I'd be quite happy with that. So I'm quite confident in that number. I'm thinking it's gonna be a good result. So I'm quite happy that it's doing about 13 sales a month and 13 sales a month to me is enough that I think this product is actually selling. If obviously I'm not seeing any drops or any sales and that estimation previously was saying like one or zero, I'd probably move on. But right now this product sells, I'm happy. The next thing I'm gonna be looking at is the buy box history. Now this is the, these are the pink dots, not the blue line, but the pink dots. And you'll probably see a pink line as well. What I'm gonna be looking for is what's gone on with that product over time. So has it literally just come up today or has it been pretty consistent? And what's the average price of that buy box been over the course of this graph? So I can see back here, it was about £10.50. It's now come to about nine, should we say £8.50. And I know right now this product is about £8.50 we're selling it for. So I know that that's about a fair selling price of this product. It isn't a historical high. So I'm quite happy, confident that my estimation for sale price is a fair estimation, not an artificially inflated figure. 
So that all gives me confidence in the numbers I've put in, into the calculator, and confidence in the results the calculator has given me. Now, the final thing which I will look at is down on the graph below, I'm gonna be looking at the new cell account. What I'm looking for is fluctuations, changes in it. I'm looking for more than one seller. And also as well, I'm not looking for a massive rising number of sellers, i.e. more competition. I'd like to see change in that. So what we can see here, we started off two, we got up to three, we've come up to four, and then we've even gone up to seven here and now down again and back down to four. So it's got a bit higher, it's come back down again and now back to four. So I'm quite happy with that. It's been quite stable. I'm quite interested in this product. Okay, so we've just now looked at the seller account. Now the final check that I'm gonna do on this product is go over to the competitor analysis. So I'm gonna move over to the right-hand side and what can I see? I'll zoom in to make it easier for you is over here, I can see all of the stock levels and the competition of those products or those other competitors. So I can see we've got one, two, three, four, and I can see here, number four is Merchant of the Field by the change of color. And I can see that one, two, and three are all FBA. Remember, this is selling about 13 units a month. They've all got 20, 97, 24. I'm also looking at their price, £9.90, £8.49, £8.49. I'd probably say that I'd be competing against these guys, £8.49. They're the ones I'm interested in. And I can obviously see that they are reasonably good sellers. They've got quite a lot of reviews. So for me, my competition is gonna be these two main sellers. And if I do some quick rough sums in my head, the unit is selling, the listing is selling 13 sales a month. I think there are two sellers on there already. Add on me, that makes three rotating around the buy box. That means roughly, if we called it 12 sales per month, we'll be each getting about four sales per month of that product if we rotate it around. So that's just a rough estimation of how I do my calculations. But it shows me that there's not too much competition. There's, while they do have a bit of stocks, I still can compete against them. I've got a healthy margin. And obviously, it's likely that I'm going to win that buy box for a certain percentage of time. And obviously, probably make about four sales per month for this product. That is my deal analysis process in quite a simple breaking down way, explaining the step-by-step -step things I'm doing in the right order to speed up the process. Let's have a look at another example now whereby maybe things aren't so perfect. Okay, here we've got another product we've done the analysis for, and what you can see straight away is the colors have changed. Before it was green, now it's red. It's telling me something's not right. So let's go through quickly through this analysis process again. So remember, first things first, I'm looking at hazmat eligible to sell in dangerous goods. I can see straight away hazmat is red. For me, that means I can't ship it into Amazon. I can't use the fulfillment program for me. So I'm not registered for dangerous goods. So quite simply, I'd say no. Again, if I was gonna continue, what would I look at? I would come up to here, IP radar, green, so that's good. Profit and ROI, remember three pound profit, 30 percent ROI, I'm happy with that. A quick glimpse at sales, nine, that looks okay. If we scroll down, again, I'm gonna do that analysis. Amazon on the listing, no, okay, I'm happy. How's that sales rank? Well, I can see that movement in that green line, I'm happy with that as well. How's the buy box price? Well, it's pretty much gone from eight pounds 75, it's dropped down every now and then, but automatically come straight back up again. So £8.75, I'm pretty happy with. New sell account, two, sometimes up to four, back down to two. I'm seeing movement, I like that. So I would say I'm happy, but obviously because the hazmat is red, that's gonna be a no for me. I'm not gonna look at this product. But I would obviously have stopped earlier on looking at the hazmat because it was red and not done the rest of the analysis. I've just done that analysis just to show you again what I go through. Okay, I just wanna take a break from this video to talk about Fast Track FBA leads. Now, quite simply, doing deal analysis, using calculating software, finding deals is great, but the one thing we all know is that finding deals is time consuming, and it does take up a lot of your time. And if you're anything like me, your time is the most precious thing you have right now, and you wanna maximize that. So, sourcing for deals is great, but do look at Fast Track FBA leads. This is a service I created whereby we've got a team of sources sourcing seven days a week week we go through the UK and USA marketplaces and we put every single deal we find onto our online web platform you can come in have a look at all the stats behind the deals pick and choose the ones that you want for your Amazon arbitrage business obviously unlock them buy them from supplier sell them on Amazon we also have a great feature which if you are a new seller on Amazon and you're looking and you're worried should we say about gated products gated brands don't worry you can filter for those as well that is just going to help you out getting to those deals that new sellers can sell. 
have a look at it. I'll drop a link down below. Fast Track FBA Leads. It's really going to change your business and speed up your sourcing process and grow your business to new heights. Right. That leads me nicely on to section number three, how to analyze an Amazon arbitrage deal in 20 seconds. Let's jump back on the computer now. Let's do three ASINs and analyze them now in 20 seconds, show you how I do that process quickly and fast. We'll put a timer on the clock as well. Okay, so we are loaded up now into a product. And the one thing which I will just add is I've already put the buy price in and click analyze. The reason why I say that is because Sometimes different computers take different times. And for me, while I'm recording this, because I'm using a lot of my computer to record the actual screen, it does slow it down a bit. So what I'm doing is the actual analysis process going through that, doing that in 20 seconds. Let's jump on now and let's go through it. How's my overview to sell green? IP radar green, profit okay, bit heavy, ROI 50% happy, 26 sales a month, I like that. Move down, no Amazon, sales rank I'm happy with, buy boxes price is good, and also as well, new sellers moving, I like that. If you look at stock levels, they are low, I like this product, I would get involved. Okay, let's load up this next product now, and can we repeat the same process in 20 seconds? Let's start the timer. Okay, hazmat edge we sell green, IP radar green, profit 127, not high, ROI is good, but profit is low, sales month 21, jump down, no Amazon, there is sales on that, I can see it, and that buy box price is historically low now, but I'm seeing the new seller count going up, I don't like the look of that. Let's look at the competition, there's quite a lot on that buy box, I'd probably say no, I'm not interested at £1.27 profit. Okay, let's do the third and final one now, jumping through to do this in 20 seconds again. Let's jump onto it now. Okay, how's my Edward sale? Great, IP radar, great. Profit 151, not great, into pack of two. ROI is 37%, it's okay. 45 sales a month, let's check it out. The no Amazon sales, I agree with. Buy box price is good. Sell, new sellers is historical high. There's quite a few competition. One is really high. I'd probably pass on this just because it's not enough profit. Now, there you go, I've just done three reviews. And the one thing which I'd say is that I'm trying to narrate that as well. And that was quite challenging. But when I can do it just in my head, obviously I can do it so much faster. If you kind of look at what I'm doing, I'm actually looking at you know, eligibility to sell. I'm trying to then look at my IP radar and then look at my profit and ROI and I'm jumping down to the keeper chart. If I'm happy with the, the keeper chart, it's telling me or giving me confidence that the figures that I put in on the calculator are correct. Once I've done that, I'm then looking at the competitor analysis and I'm just saying, is this a product I want to compete against? And I'm kind of making that analysis between the historical average, i.e. the number of new sellers, what's going on with the keeper chart of that, and the competitor analysis right now. That allows me to understand if this is a product I really want to get involved with. Now, this is all unique to your own individual business. For example, if you're going to have a lower profit product and you've got lots of capital, Mr. Luke Dugan, for example, he gets involved in those all the time because he's got so much cash. But if you're a new seller just starting out, you probably want to get involved in products with much higher profit, maybe not too much competition, but the profit is going to be the main driver. Again, all of our businesses are unique, but hopefully you've seen from this video, it's about building that workflow of doing deal analysis that's going to speed up your processes and get you where you need to be. Okay, that leads me nicely onto number four, top tips for you. What can I share with you that's going to help you out? Okay, first things first, don't waste your time on red flags. If you see a red flag, stop, move on. It's just not worth it. The only thing I'd probably say to that is if you see a gated or you're not able to sell it, try ungating. If you still can't do it, move on. It's really not worth your time. The other thing which I'll probably also add to that is when a deal doesn't meet your deal criteria, move on. Don't try and make it work. We've all been there. I've seen it time and time again where people try and make a deal work. It's just not worth it. Keep going, find other deals. They do exist. Don't try and make a bad deal work and justify it for you. It's just not worth the time. Now, what I will say is if you are looking for products to find on Amazon to deploy this new 20 second deal analysis process, have a look at the video around here. That is gonna really help you about finding products to sell on Amazon. But hopefully you've liked this video. Give me a big thumbs up. And hey, if you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. That's the subscribe button just down below. But what I will say is from me, Thomas Parkinson, Fast Track FBA, thank you very much. How to analyze Amazon arbitrage leads in 21 seconds in 2021. It's 2021 and today we're going to do how to analyze Amazon arbitrage deals in 21 seconds because we've got 21 seconds to go. 21 seconds to go. If you like it and you know when you got to the studio, we've got 21 seconds before you got to go and say, oh no, oh no, yeah, yeah.
We're going to do this. 20 seconds. Let's make this happen. 